I don't have a spare tyre or a spare wheel. I should probably get that fixed. But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love. Ever since Italy, I don't have a spare tyre, or even a spare wheel, um, I knackered it. Uh, a bit dicey really, considering the places I take this van. So it's probably about time I sorted that out. Some of you might have seen the video where uh, I was doing some off-roading and completely buckled my wheel. Just the, uh, <laughs> a bit of trouble. Just hit this rock. Knackered my wheel. And there's no spare. Off a very unfortunately placed rock and it missed the tyre but completely took out the, the wheel and dented it real bad. A lot of you got in touch and said with a bit of heat and some persuasion this should bend back so I'm going to give it a go because these wheels are quite hard to get hold of so um, I borrowed this blowtorch from the guy I'm working with at the minute. Um, it's used to melt the felt onto roofs. It should get enough heat into the steel to bend it back. And I've got this hooked up to the propane tank on the camper. Then once it's warm enough, I've got a selection of different tools to try and uh, persuade the metal to go back into where it used to be. I mean, none of them are really meant for precision wheel repair, but it's all I've got. So now, I've never used one of these, so this could end horribly. That's out. I'm going to say that's hot enough. <laughs> May need a new valve. I can't keep it still, but I can't touch it because it's melting everything I've got on it.
so it's still not perfect you can see just there there's still a little flat spot I'm pretty sure that would seal but but you'd just feel it driving um, and the problem is it's that lip there is is bowing in a bit and that's a really strong bit of metal there I can't get anything in there to bend that out without just creasing this bit first so yeah it's a bit disappointing after all this effort it's still not great but what I'll do is probably bolt this underneath the van and keep this as a spare rim for emergencies in case I do hit any more rocks again um, while I'm out and about on my travels but um, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna replace this. Ta-da! Here was me saying they're really hard to get hold of. Found one on eBay. Thirty pounds. Bang on. It's the twin rim. It's a bit tatty, but a bit of paint and it'll be all right. I've just started cleaning it up already. That's why all the grind marks are on it. And um, yeah, get a tire on it, lick of paint, and it'll be ready to go. Finally got a new tyre. I've been needing one of these since front. There we go. One more spare wheel, when I inevitably pop another one. 